exterminator, and I've got a few tips to keep your home pest free. So the house is your number one investment in life. So how do you keep these nasty vexations out of there? Well, I'm gonna take a moment to show you some of the common things I see every day out in the field and what you can do to stop these nasty vermin from taking over your lives. Once a house is built, then you have the utilities coming in. You know, cable, telephones, electricity. And what they do is they go into the siding and drill big holes to run their lines through, even air conditioners. So how do you keep the vexations out of your home once the holes are made into the outside? Well, you're gonna have to do some home maintenance. These gaps are quite regularly left open. So I'm gonna give you some tips on how to close these spots up. Right here, we have a telephone box. They pop the hole over here in the masonry and it's a big hole, about a two inch gap that we've got to fill. They ran a little line in here, but unfortunately all kinds of nasties can fit through that hole. So what's a good product to close it up with? Well, I recommend expansion foam. This opening is a little wide for caulking, so expansion foam is a fine alternative. What you do is you take the straw in, insert it into the hole, and simply depress the trigger. This expansion foam, once it reacts with the air, it starts to widen and thicken. And it's pretty effective for keeping out the rodents and the insects. And as you can see, it's starting to fill that void up. Expansion foam is very airy and fantastic for filling large voids like we see right here, where caulking can't do the job. All right, I showed you how to close the large openings with expansion foam, but what do we do about them little ones? Look, let me show you. Right down here, we've got a cable entry point. Way too small for expansion foam, but perfect for caulk. Why do you need to use caulk here? For little insects like ants and gnats. So what do you do? You just take a little caulking and just fill it into these tight spots where you can't uh, get expansion foam or anything else in. This is a nice alternative, caulking. Well, now we're looking at a weep hole. This is another big entry point into a house. This is a gap that's left in the mortar by the builder to allow the wall to breathe so mold and mildew doesn't build up. The problem though, Insects and rodents can easily get through these weep holes. Like take this mouse for instance right here. Mice have um, bones that are made of cartilage. They can uh, easily squeeze their bones to fit into an area like this. And as you can see that mouse can easily get into that crack if I let him go. So how do you stop that? Well, the best thing to use is some type of mesh, either copper or steel wool. Just take the steel wool, and you stuff it into the gap, it allows the wall to breathe, but pest environment cannot get in there. Steel wool will rust after a couple of years, so if you can use copper, that's the best.